The Alt F4, no, you're right. That you're true. Nothing beats the Alt F4. It's the best move in the game, hands down. Yes, GG's all around, GG's. What's the best move in the game? Ma Malaiko. Akuma. Akuma, best move in the game. His jab is the best, provided you have meter. Because it can turn into a full combo, right? Balcony break. The worst move in the game would obviously be something like, I don't know, Snake Edge? Or um, unblockables in general. Because they're you can barely use them. Round two. Fight. The worst move in the game is pretty easy to figure out. Best move, not really. It depends on what you're looking at. For me, I'd say Akuma's jab, provided he has meter. Including the Akuma down jab, provided you have meter. And rage quit, best move. True. They going at it right now. Did you press a button? No, I did not. Caught his cheese there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Fight. Worst move, gone spart. No, that's best move, bro. That's single-handedly best move. So copy paste there. So the, the, the poll's up already. So you can drop your audience predictions in chat. While these two players are going at it. So this Juker versus the Poor. The wise little. Running three Niana. Isn't that the same as Nina's? Don't they have exactly the same running three? Oh, in terms of running move? I uh, know, I, well, I'm gonna remember for Nina when you get it on hit, you get like a grab, right? On hit. That's not the same buff for Anna if you get it on hit, it's not the same. It's Nina saying, haha, we're not the same. <laughs> I'm the better William's sister. <laughs> mm -hmm, FF2. Final round of the month. Intense, intense, intense. Mm -hmm. Wall break available. Alright, that's out. Uh, no more gimmicks now. Oh, goes big! Brian Jett believing that she's a little bit too much there. Wall splat. Double punches. The taunt! And Mr. Brownie it was like, now or never, you gotta get the taunt. Alright, my bad. There was a Horang on stream. It was Raph. Fight. My bad, my bad. <laughs> There was already a horn. You want to set too? Wow! Oh wait, is Mr. Brownie? You see that drop pun launch punish on back one too? Wildly awake! Wow! Even Brian Jet ducking the FF two, the Mach punch and crouch canceling it in one one two. Almost got that fancy combo into the balcony break. I want more. It's not enough that there's one. How about three lows from Mr. Brownie? How about that? Does that work for you? With the 1k buff, 1,715 wins for Mr. Brownie compared to Brian Jett's two wins. By that, I mean the two-digit club. I just know it's a 20. Man. You can feel it. The intimidation right now. Earning that space. Trying to implement some fear there into his opponent is Mr. Brownie. Woo! Full string ahead, trying to go for the orbital heal, but Brian Jett rocking with the fastest move in the game. Universally speaking, the 10 frame jam. Oh, it's 8 plus frames. Woo! Two slices of red cheese acquired from the cheese buffet. It's like you're trying to fish for a counter. How about I'll just take my counter? Hit? Oh, the Snake Edge winning the set in another way already. You play Horan. True. He's like, no, I want to see other players play Horan. Okay. He's like, I need to just like just like you, Duckbear. He's like, if everyone should watch Blue Lock, everyone should play uh, Horan. Uh, uh, no. Would you? Are you saying the, the matchups in Huarang's favor? No. Round four. 
that's slightly in favor of Ayahashi. Again, a lot of Korang's matchups are not good. They're always even or slightly bad. Yeah, but seldom do you have something that's slightly good. Even against characters who don't can't sidestep as much, like Gigas and Jack. It, depending on how you play it and how good your opponent's neutral slash defense is, that's not even going to be slightly in your favor. It's just going to be even. Horang does not have a lot of quote unquote good match. default outfits. Classic outfit for Brian Jet right now and Hayachi. You know what that means? He means business. God fist, big damage. Not this time. You have a god dance performance for PE. Ah, PE's dance. Classic. Perfect. Uh, what do you mean by go for the current underdog? I guess in this case, in this set, it is Brian Jet. He's currently down 0-2. 1-1-2. One, one, Beautiful punish. Mr. Brownie awake for that one. Man, really, really getting into his face. But Brian Jet's like, no, I've had enough. I've had enough of you entering my space. I'm gonna enter yours instead, just like that. Up two rounds. Trying to make up for those two losses right now. But Mr. Brownie unfazed. He's like, so what if that's your adjustment? I'ma keep doing it. One, two. Oh, almost got that. That was potentially a taunt jet upper. Plus one on the Hunting Hawk. Again, they buff the range on that DF1, so that makes that punish more and more consistent for Hachi in this matchup. Hitting low, yelling Timber. And Brian Jet getting a game. Got that drip right now. You changed a lot of your stages music. I mean, yeah, the jukebox, right? Jukebox mod. That's the advantage of playing on PC. I mean, you can technically... Uh, well, there's Jukebox and Tekken on the PS4. And they have all the classic Tekken music there. But if you don't want that, you can technically mod the PS4. It just takes more work compared to PC. Yes, hello, Horang. There you go. Hello, Down 3 fours. Hello, Mix-Ups. For two slices of red cheese. Is the song playing in Mr. Brownie's head perhaps the Now or Never song from High School Musical 3? It's like every time he throws out down D4. It's now or never. Down. Three. Four. Let's go. Down. Three. Four. Horang. Mix-ups. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. It's not Tuna from Tag 2. I mean, that's 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 what the jukebox is for. I'm okay with the Geometric Plane song. Hmm. It's alright. It's, it's, you know, it's, what it's whatever. Ooh, ooh. Showing the safer Tsunami Kicks to Hayachi Mishima. It's like, you gotta learn this. You gotta make sure your Tsunami Kicks safer. Imagine if the Mishimas had a safe Tsunami Kicks. So that's a free mid-mid that they can throw out also. You know, it'd be kind of annoying. Yeah, it's a good thing that they don't have it. Yeah, JDCR every down 3-4. Well, you technically are risking your life after every down 3-4. JFSR into a jab. That's, a, that's, a, that's an inspirational combo. I need the sauce. I need the, I need the notation. So it's JFSR jab into what? Hey, I know that combo. There's a there's a there's a copyright or a trademark on that. Uh, every time you do it, you have to give me a slice of cheese. <laughs> Season two BNB into the rage drive. There you go. You gotta wait. He was looking for that rage art. And that's now three one in favor of <laughs> man. Just flexing all the outfits he has here is Mr. Bounty from his walk-in closet. JFSR. Conditioning with those two down fours, perhaps. Hey, no, that doesn't work. And that's not 14, that's 13. Ah, uh, the balcony break. Very dangerous. Ryan Jet trying to keep that position, but the float with the DF4. 
Wall position changing. 14! That was big! For Hihachi, what's that? Is that F1 plus 2 into QCF2? Probably. Backlash on point. One, two, three. Yep. Good damage, but it's not going to kill. The plus 5 HP buff right there in Season 4. Walking in with a down 3-4. Mr. Brownie on a mission. DF2 cheese is still your favorite? Well, again, if you over-rely on it, your opponent's gonna see it. So they'll just catch the timing when you do the DF2 and then they'll, you know, whiff punish you for it. I mean, JDCR, if you were watching one of the videos, I think he was playing Feng? Was he playing Feng? Like when he was demonstrating why Feng's such a strong character. I think it was that video, I'm not sure. But he had a video wherein one of his opponents were Huo Swarang. And that Huo Swarang kept doing DF2. Fight. And he punished him for it, like no problem, easy. That's the problem when you rely on it. Because it becomes pretty obvious, well that's technically anything, it becomes obvious that you're fishing or going for X or Y thing. In Z situation. Really trying to go for the orbital heal, trying to say, hey I'm playing Brian Fury. Oh, broken toy! Beautiful one break there. There is a chance. The Now or Never song playing in Mr. Brownie's mind right now. One, two. Okay. Uh-huh! Uh, you know what? Fine. Wall pressure. Down three, four. He did, he did the frontier thing. Not go for damage. Oh, and he paid the price for it. Two slices of red cheese going to Brian Jet. Fight. I mean, true. If your opponent's not punishing it, yes. But the problem is it also becomes a habit. So while you, yes, have to adjust to your opponent, how they're playing the game, you also have to remind yourself that's the adjustment you're doing for your opponent because the next opponent you play, Malai Mo, is going to be different. Because your muscle, your, 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 the muscle memory is going to be there. It's like, oh yeah, I can always just throw DF2 in this situation because the last set I played, it worked out like that. The, but the current set you're playing, it's not working out like that. So it's like reminding yourself consciously that, you know, not to over-rely on it. Oh, both pixel health. And Brian Jet. One round away to potentially keep himself afloat. To make it three all apiece. But Mr. Brownie on a mission to share the brownies with everyone in the dojang. Whether that be on Brian Fury or Huarang. Eating an electric wind god fist. Taking one for the team. FF2. Power Crush trying to get out of that pressure is Brian Jet. Oh no, he pressed the button. That's it. The boat has not sunk yet. 3 2. Incorrectly. Solid Jin player. Round 1. Fight. Uh, unfortunately, you are negative after FC4. So, Brian Jet maximizing. Didn't mind maximizing the frames, but saying the frames are the rules there. Down Z4, mixing it up. So, I saw that. I saw that low parry. Hitting with the mids right now. Into the rage drive. Going big. Follow up with the FF2. Oh. But he read that. The Now or Never song playing in his head. As soon as Hihachi was in the air. Now or never. <laughs> yes, a very, very happy kid right now is Nate. Down 3-4. Oh, into the snake edge. But you cannot throw that move out very often. Oh, he's better than me. You can have the frontier page. <laughs> I barely launch Hihachi down back there. At best I do is usually while standing three. Oh, sidewall saves lives. But not at that moment. Brian Jet was like, no, I'm just warming up. And that's what we're seeing right now. OTGF unable to get the combo though. Maybe we'll see a repeat. Another OTGF soon. Fantastic whiff punish there on the orbital heal with a DF11. Mixing it up again is Brownie. You see it this way, and then it'll be the other way. It's like wearing 3D glasses. Blue lens on the other, and red on the other. Blue lens on the left, red lens on the right. Or opposite, vice versa. I don't know. Yeah, 
while standing free autopilot. Oh, SS2 did not commit another low parry. No snake edge for you. Man, that was a really weak punish. But still a punish nonetheless. Anchoring Mr. Brownie right there. Low crushing down back three with the Hunting Hawk. Slam dunk with the down one. Unfortunately, the Hunting Hawk was out there. And that has still been working the whole time. Stand, swap, stand switch into the mid. Brian Jett, a little bit too concerned with the lows there. Creating some space. But the DF4 catching him. I'll, at least that was not a counter hit low. Or else that would have been very big while you were doing backlash. Oh! Already did the up back 3 3 and changed it to wall standing 4 4. Hitting low. Again, just warming up is Brian Jett. 3 all a piece. Round one. Fight. Is that the first four casualty? No, no. I feel you. Sometimes when you do a tail spin, right? You try to press forward, but the timing for the forward's wrong, so your character stays in place and you're not able to go for the follow up afterwards to complete the combo. It happens. It happens. But yeah, the first floor breaks still with Mr. Brownie. 1 0 in favor of Mr. Brownie in terms of floor breaks. Can Brian Jet come back from it? Oh, there you go, maximizing the frames. A very creative punish. Unfortunately, for some reason, back two did not connect there after while standing one. Oh, float. Misses out. Checking with the mids. Another one. Suffering from success is Brian Jet. Oh, whoa! Standing three? Round three. Huh. Fight. Standing three, huh? That 2-1, two, 2-0 two, in favor of Mr. Bounty in terms of floor breaks. One last floor to go. DF 1-1. There you go. Plus frames. Brian Jet. Assessing the situation. Trying to intim intimidate him again is Mr. Bounty. 2-1. Bounty won that in terms of floor breaks, but who's gonna win the game? He's gonna win this first part of the first two. Yes, exactly. The is a solid mid check because it's an elbow. You can't parry it. You can't parry it, can't reverse it. That's the thing with elbows and knees. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> One four. Oh, rage drive denied. Really trying to keep his turn is Brian Jet. And Mr. Brownie winning that part of the first season. He is! There you go. In tune with home court right now. That's gonna nullify the 1k buff of Mr. Brownie. So we'll see what he can do without it. Again, the Now or Never song playing on repeat. Now or never. Boom. Right now, I got a counter hit. Oh. I don't know where I was going with that. More like his graveyard. Oh, bro. Bro. Not like this. Not like this. Back three. It's still, yeah, again, technic technically home court. I mean, can Brian beat Hayachi lore wise? Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. Mishimas are the strongest characters in the game, right? Or in the story. Like, nobody can beat them. Maybe except Paul. Paul beat Kazuya once, right? Or tied with Kazuya? Horan beat Jin. Not Devil Jin, but Jin. I don't know, there's no record of Brian beating any of the Mishimas, diba? 1 1 2, walls flat. Oh, missing out the down one. Yeah, it's exactly the plot armor. They're too strong, bro. The Mishima Ryu style is single handedly. The best style. But not at that moment. Again, good games to both players. Good games. Cheese keeper? Okay. This is all or nothing. All or nothing. All or Ooh, all or nothing. All or no all or nothing. <laughs> Woo!
crazy.